Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Toxicity and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you guys, we are going to be ranking all of the Mega Evolution forms in the game currently. Mega Evolution has been confirmed for Pokemon Legends ZA, so I thought it's a perfect time to do a revamped list. And uh, yeah, we're going to rate this list based on looks and design only. No other features, just the looks and design. So let me know your list down below and let's jump straight into the video. Okay, let's jump straight into this video. We're going to rank these mega Pokemon based on design only. I didn't want to go through and test them all out and show down again and like revamp my experience with any of these Pokemon. So we're just going to rate ba like completely based on design. Now, how would you rank these mega Pokemon? Let me know down below. What would be your S tier? Straight away, we've got a Bomber Snow. Its design is okay. But I feel like normal Obama Snow is just as cool. So this is going to be a D tier for me. I still love Obama Snow. I've still used Mega Obama Snow before. It's very useful in battle. But that's where I'm going to put it. Just based on design. Purely on design. Absol. Mega Absol is probably one of the coolest designs. I'm, I'm going to put it in S tier. It's going to be the first S tier Pokemon. Just based on design. Completely on design. Absol's already cool in its normal form, but giving it wings, that's that was cool. That was a really good idea. Uh, Mega Aerodactyl, I'm going to put in C tier. They really didn't do too much to its design. They just like gave it a goatee, which is cool, but not what I want in a Mega Pokemon. Mega Agron, it doesn't look all that great. It looks kind of sluggish. It kind of reminds me of Mega Obama Snow. Normal Agron is just as cool. In my opinion. I'm going to put it in D tier. Mega Alakazam is going to be our first A tier. They gave it more spoons. Gave it like a cool little robe. It looks alright. Like don't get me wrong. It looks alright. Normal Alakazam. I'd say Mega is a little bit of an upgrade compared to normal Alakazam. But it could have been cooler. Mega Altaria. We're also going to put in C tier. They just turned it into a cloud. Like it's still... A pretty looking mega Pokemon. It's probably one of the prettiest on this list. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of similar to Mega Ampharos. They kind of made it fluffy. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. They kind of made it fluffy. So that's where it's going to go. Mega Ordino. Nah, I don't really like the design of Ordino or Mega Ordino. Or or I'm going to put it down. Uh, I'm going to put it in ETL because it made Ordino look a bit better. But the Mega is still not great. Mega Bennett looks awesome. I'm going to put it in A tier. Not A+, plus, just A tier. I think Bennett is very underrated, like, design-wise. And Mega Bennett just takes it to the next level. Beedrill goes in A+, plus because this is one of my favorite Megas since I first seen all the designs. It looks so cool. Like, this is just, like, it looks like a jet. Like, it just looks awesome. Mega Blastoise, they gave it a big-ass cannon. Um, I'm going to put it in C tier as well. We might need to start being a bit more harsher with some of these rankings because C tier is starting to fill up. Uh, Mega Blaziken can go in A+. They turned an already cool Pokemon into an even cooler Pokemon, and that's quite hard to do. Mega Camerupt, meh, gave it a skirt. And the Volcano on the back is pretty cool, but they gave it a skirt, kind of. <laughs> I don't think it looks all that great. Mega Charizard X, I'm going to put in C tier. Now, I know a lot of people are going to complain and say, Mega Charizard X is the best, and honestly, it, it's a cool Pokemon, but Mega Charizard Y, in my opinion, looks a bit better. I just like the original, like, design, the Charizard color scheme. They made it look a little bit more, like, dinosaur, dragon-like, and um, I feel like Mega Charizard X, I know Pokemon X is a little bit different to Pokemon Y, but this is just where I see the design sitting. They're both really cool designs. They make Charizard look cooler, not faulting them at all in that case. Mega Diancie... I didn't really like Diancie's design, and Mega Diancie just kind of doesn't do it for me. Mega Gallade goes in S tier. Absolutely amazing. I love Gallade and Gardevoir. Mega Gallade, you took an already cool Pokemon, made it even better. That's kind of what the premises of this list is. Mega Garchomp is going to go in A+. I love Mega Garchomp. They took a land shark and turned it into a land beast. Like, <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Mega Gardevoir can go in... Uh, I'm going to put it in C tier. It's kind of the same sort of thing as Mega Altaria, Mega Ampharos. They kind of made it fluffier by giving it a puffier dress. They gave it a cool little like bow thing there, which which is all right. Mega Gengar, I'm going to throw an A+. If you make this thing shiny, wow. 
absolutely wow it goes insane but it's just based on its normal design but gengar awesome pokemon they made it even better with the mega evolution mega glalie they made it a bigger mouth <laughs> i don't i don't know where to where to put this i'm gonna put it in e tier actually this is gonna be our first f tier looking at it right now it's gonna be our first f tier i don't really like it that much mega gyarados is kind of cool it kind of looks like a big shrimp but i think i do, i think i like the old gyarados just a little bit better i'm gonna put it in d tier it's a cool mega evolution don't get me wrong but i feel like the previous form just normal gyarados looks a bit better uh mega heracross is is cool ish but is it as cool as these pokemon in c tier i don't think so we need to start being a little bit harsher with these mega houndoom looks sick you took it or you could took an okay pokemon and made it really really cool like it's bone kind of throne or bone um like design armor looks so cool Mega Kangaskhan, you just brought the baby outside of the body. I don't, I don't know. Outside of the pouch. Eh, it's kind of it's kind of average. Mega Latios and Mega Latios are pretty cool. I'm going to put them in D tier, but they're both the same thing. Like, honestly, I'd rather the color schemes of the old Pokemon. Like, if you left the color schemes the same and maybe gave them purple streaks, that'd be pretty cool. Mega Lopunny could go in C tier. Actually, I'm going to bump it up to A tier. I'm gonna bump it up to A tier. It's cool. It looks like it's gonna take everyone on in a fight. It's it's like not faulting anything. I think it takes low pony and goes to the next level, which is exactly what we want from this list. Mega Lucario goes in Oh AOS AOS tier. I'm gonna put it in S tier. It looks awesome. Mega Lucario is so cool. It is so cool. I remember when I first saw it playing through the X and Y games because I tried to go through completely spoiler three. It was it was amazing. Mega Manetric, I'm going to put it in D tier. It did a lot for the original Pokemon design, but I mean, they turned it into a lightning bolt. It's kind of, it's kind of meh. Mega Marwell, I'm going to put in A tier. I think it took an okay design and turned it into an awesome design. Mega Medicham, I'm going to put it into C tier. Like, it's okay. Normal Medicham is pretty cool, but just like the kind of like Gardevoir, Ampharos, and, uh, Altaria, they just kind of made it a bit fluffier, I guess. <laughs> Mega Metagross goes in A tier, it looks awesome. It, it's really cool. Mega Mewtwo X goes in F tier. I hate that Pokemon's design. I mean, look at its toes. It's just it's just weird. Mega Mewtwo Y, I'll put in D tier. I think it looks okay. It's not the best design. I didn't love the fact that Mewtwo got a Mega, but that's okay. Mega Pidgeot can go in C tier. Its design made Pidgeot look even cooler. So I think C tier is perfect for this Pokemon. Mega Pinsir can go in C tier as well. It's a little bit better than Heracross. It makes its design look like a little bit better. Um, Mega Rayquaza. I'm going to put it in A tier. Original Rayquaza is or already like A tier, but A plus, I would say, for Mega mega rayquaza it takes it to the next level makes it look very scary very intimidating i really like that mega pokemon mega sableye yeah it's okay there's not much really to say about it they gave it a bigger diamond or bigger gem it's it's all right mega salamence goes straight into s tier this thing looks incredible they made it look like an attack helicopter or a jet like it's it's so cool mega septile i'm gonna put an a plus I quite like Mega Sceptile a lot. I still think Mega Blaziken is the coolest out of the three starter Pokemon. So we'll throw Swampert in here at A tier. Swampert just got bulkier. It looks like it's going to take on the world. It looks like it could punch you and knock you out in one shot. Love it. Its design's great. Mega Scizor. I'm going to put it in A tier as well. It doesn't go A+. plus. It goes A tier. I really like it. But it's just a little bit weird. Like they made its clamps a little bit bigger. Actually, looking at it right now, it's kind of the same thing I've been saying about like Altaria, Amphros, Gardevoir, Medicamp. I'm gonna drop it down to C tier. Yeah, we'll drop it down to C tier. I just noticed this tier list doesn't have B tier, which is kind of weird. I guess that's what C tier could be, but it, it is what it is. B tier apparently is non-existent. Some of these Pokemon might go on B tier if there was a B tier. I didn't even notice that till now, but we're gonna continue on. 
Mega Sharpedo. Freaking love this Pokemon. It looks awesome. They took an already intimidating, cool Pokemon in Sharpedo and made it even better. Mega Slowbro. I don't know what Bro's doing in there. <laughs> it kind of looks weird. It just like gave it like a dress, made it bounce. Again, look turned into a pogo stick or something. Mega Steelix, in my opinion, is just weird. They gave it a bigger jaw, and Steelix's design is already pretty meh, in my opinion. Um, Mega Tyranitar, A tier. That thing looks insane. It kind of looks like they turned it into like a Godzilla looking thing. Or, you know, in Power Rangers, when they combine together and they turn all their little machines into a big machine. That's what it looks like. And Mega Venusaur, they just gave it a bigger flower. It's kind of the same sort of like argument as, um, as like the Altaria, Amphros, Gardevoir lines. Like it's, it's cool. It's, it's great. They enhanced the original design of Venusaur and made it bigger. But yeah, that's where we're going to put it. I mean, this is my list, I guess. Rip it apart in the comments below. So there you have it. There is my rankings for my Mega Evolutions. I'm kind of happy with this list. I think if I noticed there was a B tier, I would have split some of these Pokemon up and moved them into the B tier. But for some reason, the person that created that tier list didn't have B tier. But I feel like my S tier is perfect. I wouldn't change that at all. So let me know down below, what is your favorite Mega Evolution? And do you agree with my list? I'm happy to take criticism. I'm happy to be torn apart. Just let me know below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.